Hello VR addicts, welcome to my channel. I am Paolo Trioni and today we're doing the first impressions of Honor and Duty D-Day. You weren't there, man. You weren't there. I mean, on the PSVR. I mean, this game was good on the PSVR. <laughs> it was good. But you weren't there, man. You weren't there. You didn't experience the blood and the heart. Break of Honor and Duty D Day. But now it's on the PC and it just looks a little like it ain't working right. So uh, let's see what it's like. Alright, so here we are in the game. Uh, we're just going to quickly go into those option screen just to turn down now the option screen moves with you really kind of weird I'm gonna be honest with you but it's all right let's just lower the sounds down a little bit just so there's not much options the graphic the only graphic option is anti-analyzing on and off it's off by default uh, there's some stick options and stuff like that now I'm using the index controllers with the uh, Cosmos Elite for this game but this is the Vive port infinity version which was released back in early April, uh, late April, um, as the beta version. The PC uh, Steam version is supposed to have been released a couple of days ago, I believe, but it's not, they've got some delays. Probably the delays are to do with these index controllers. The only thing supported, it would appear, on Viveport is Vive controllers. Now, thank God I, the sticks do work, but a lot of like they're supposed to be uh look look as you can see see this right now is 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 vive ones it's got circle weapons the double tap works for bringing up the uh scoreboard but i think there's a lot of things that just don't work like i i, I have not managed to jump or reload or is that a crouch i don't know because it's just like in a sweet spot crouch yeah so yeah uh, and there's more on there, so I don't know. Um, and it's, it's a little bit empty on this as well. Uh, actually, I'm going to go back to main menu because I did multiplayer last time. I'm going to try more um, battle royale this time. So I played, yeah, I played a little bit of this. Uh, oh, so in battle royale, you turn up straight away. See if I if I could use this to jump with, I'd be alright here. Oh, is this the starting screen? I thought all I had to do was just go. Oh, it does say that. It says pick up or use the Windows button, right? And there, there, as you fully well know, there is no Windows button. And you can't connect a controller to this, neither, because that won't work. So I'm going to quit this. I don't think anyone's going to join. It looks pretty empty and I don't think it's going to work with the index controllers. Sorry, I mean, uh, even if you had the Rift right now, it doesn't say it supports it. Um, I just can't shoot. I'm going to try starting the game again. I just hit exit game and it was like, nah, nah bruh, <laughs> nah bruh, you can't exit the game. Some things about this game is that the controls are very limited in the aspects of VR, you know? Um, All right, soldier. These there we guys go. are pure cannon fodder. Let's take them out and move on. So, player made map, did I say? All right. All right. You can get in vehicles though in this. Now it's got the hand sign again. Is this going to work this time? I don't, I don't, I have got into the vehicle before. I don't know how though. Uh, 
I heard sounds. Sounds like it was coming behind me, something just there. Just like an A burn or something. Oh, I don't know how I did that. I just did that. So I'm in the Jeep, which is pretty damn cool. It runs okay on this. This is a 1700p screen. Bear that in mind. Though it doesn't kind of look it with the super sampling that's on there right now. I have to check to see what Steam's defaulted this to. I think in those vehicles over there you can get into the gunning turret. I'm not entirely sure. That one's got a wheel hanging off, so. But the vehicle's actually, out of most shooting games I've been in, this, this is pretty damn good vehicle. <laughs> Movement. As not a lot of it works very well, if I'm gonna be honest. Okay, so how do, how do I get back out then? All right, I'll press B to get out there. Left side B. Did that reload my gun as well? Or was that just a sound effect? Uh, you can get into tanks sometimes in certain matches. Oh, that guy was swerving. That's interesting, was that actually a person? Shot in the back. I can't change my gun in this because wrong controller, right? Well, I'm the only one in this squad. So, yeah, when I move, there's a little jank going on. It's not too bad when you move fast, but when you move a little, like, it's... There's quite a bit of blurring and... It's like it's got motion blurring on or something, you know? It's running at 90 FPS. You can see here, right, it's averaging 89.8. So, it's, it's saying it's doing a good job. Don't worry if there's no one online, you do get to play against bots. And they do swerve, like, so, a bit of swerving by the bots. But, like I said, not very good controller support. And now it's clicking, even though... Uh oh I'm out of ammo. I'm out of everything now. I don't know how to pull out my knife. Get my knife, or if I have a knife, have a knife in the menu. You German scum! You German scum. I should say Nazi scum, realistically, because the Germans are very nice people. Well, some of the Nazis, a lot of the Nazis were nice people. They're just forced into a war they didn't want to play. You know, some of them were really, really horrific, but, you know, they couldn't have all been bad, right? Graphically, I don't think it's too bad. I mean, this kind of was supposed to be a bush, but it looks like a rock with like, I don't know, camo over it or something. So, very weird. But I think it looks okay, considering. If it was working fine and smoothly, this would be a very fun little mess around shooter. It really would be. But in this present state, I can see why it's getting quite a few negatives on Viport. This is the Viport Infinity version, obviously. So it's kind of free. I thought I heard someone behind me there. So the sound is not quite perfect neither on, a, on this version. Obviously the Steam version is not available to us yet. The stem gun does have not have much ammo. I think you're going Americana. I think they're just dying for some Costa. They're dying for some Costa. E forte. That sounds Italian. They suddenly just went Italian or something. Come here, fella. Such a tiny gun. These are tiny in your hands, but you can rescale them uh, in the menu. I'll rescale it now, like, I believe. Uh, is it here? 
Or did I just get that wrong? Weapon scales. Seem like now they're now they're bigger. They look when you turn it all the way up, they look kind of a bit more uh, better. We need to get to some ammo. Oh, the smooth turning sort of got more uh, sensitive by turning that up. Okay, so turning that up. I can't run. It might be a controller issue. There might be a run actually within the game. That is not ammo I need. It's a kind of greyish box, isn't it? I'm out of here. I'm out of ammo. Oh, we went anyway. Hey, 24 kills, 4 deaths, and remember, those AI are made by Skynet, they're T800s or T8 triples, uh, or triple eights, should I say. Uh, so yeah, I did really well there. I wish there was some players, but like, yeah. Well, there you go, there is Honor and Duty D-Day. Now this game was a hit on the PlayStation VR, and I actually tried it myself on the PlayStation VR, and I thought, actually quite like this it's pretty good fun but then that was the only thing we kind of had back then until you know the other better shooters came around but it evolved into something even better after i played it and become even more of a better game um what's it like on viveport infinity it, well one it's free so you know it comes part of the subscription which is fantastic but it only supports the vive ones and that kind of makes it a little bit exclusive obviously to that controller type obviously the index controller i was using in that take just there and you could see it was working to a certain degree i could shoot i couldn't reload uh, i couldn't crouch I couldn't jump i could move around with the thumbsticks as well which was quite nice because i'm not a fan of this touchpad as, as much as i'm not a fan of the touchpad of the uh, windows mixed reality headsets um, touchpad on the Vive is, is is definitely the best, in my opinion, for touchpads. But I would prefer a stick, and the sticks were working. Um, some controls were there, but they weren't generally easy. Um, Jan, due to this fact, um, and it's just crazy that I suppose that the Cosmos controllers, the, uh, the, the ones they bought out for it. Um, but due to that fact, the player base is empty, as you can see when I was playing. And that you know, even though that game was the game was been released uh, at the end of April, so around about the first of May, and uh, it's and what we are right now, twenty fourth of May, probably twenty fifth when this comes out. I don't know, twenty fourth, yeah, twenty fifth today, yeah, twenty fifth today. Um, so yeah, player base is dead, and I guess they're just trying to add more controllers whilst they go on. This is reason why I think the Steam version hasn't been released yet because it's supposed to be released a couple of days ago, I believe now. And it's probably delayed because they're just trying to get the rest of the support for the other type of headsets. I've seen that it's going to support the Index. Um, and I swear it said the Oculus and I think it said the Vive. I didn't see Windows Mixed Reality. It should hopefully support Windows Mixed Reality, especially as we've now heard that there's a potentially new version of Windows Mixed Reality coming, which is very exciting. So we definitely want to see that. However, let's talk about some of the positives of the game. It looks fine for what it does and what it is. It's kind of like one of those kind of junky shooters, uh, arena shooters, where it's kind of like, you know, just get in and have fun. Don't take it too seriously. It's fantastic for that. And it looks great. And it's great that you can go in buildings as pickups as well for your, your, your weapons and etc. When I mean pickups, I mean like you know, get more bullets, get grenades, etc. It's fantastic. And there's classes as well. There's like four classes. The menus are pretty nice. Um, now going back to the negatives again because there's quite a few sorry to say um there's no real turning in the game and that's a problem no matter what when you're in this if you want to use smooth turning or snap turning that's fantastic those options are there however you're gonna turn a little bit regardless you know even if you like using smooth turning you're gonna turn a little bit in your play space because you're just so used to it on the pc and when you've done that your character's facing this way you're facing this way it suddenly becomes uncalibrated and then you have to work out what's front again like you like you're on the psvr that's it if you get that down to a nail on the psvr the tracking's not bad because you know that you should always be facing forward um on the playstation vr and that's what i think the tracking's pretty good because i didn't have drift and problems like that only when you were stupid enough to turn around in playstation vr however on pc we can turn all the way around uh most of the time and we do it when we, you know, unknowingly 
you know, play games all the time. Like it's times where I come out of VR and I'm facing completely a different way. And I'm like, huh, how did I get like this? You know, I'm completely in the wrong house now. <laughs> um, <laughs> and she's calling the police. I didn't know you were naked. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> that's really wrong. <laughs> that's wrong. <laughs> What's the queen bothered by that? <laughs> the queen. Oh, I don't know. I don't know why I'm picturing the queen naked now and me in the palace. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's so bad. Anyway, uh, the game was a big hit on the PlayStation VR. We want it to be a big hit on this. Fix these problems. Have real turning in VR in these PC port versions, please, and add some super sampling options maybe for us so we don't have to just keep going into them ourselves. Be fantastic. I think by default, there should be a little bit more super sampling because it was a little bit blurry and I'm using a 1700p screen here. So I don't think that should be the case. Um, yeah, obviously no physics, not much physics. You know, you're not reloading your own gun. You're not pulling your own bolt or, you know, cocking your own gun, etc. You know, there's none of that in the game. So that's a off putting for some people. But for this type of game, there shouldn't really be that anyway. It's kind of cartoonish and just for laughs. So it's just about going in and shooting some people. It's fantastic. If you want to play a game like that, go to more of the realistic shooters, I would say. But then, you know, it is VR and it feels a bit kind of weird without it, in my opinion, as well. So, you know, there we go. Uh, so, yeah, I wouldn't bother. Not at the moment. They need to really fix this. This is the beta version anyway. So, you know, it's not it's like an early access, basically. So, you know, they need to finish this. And if they finish it, it'll be fantastic. And I'll probably keep an eye on it. But at the moment, I, I wouldn't recommend it. So if you like this video, give me a like. And if you uh, please could subscribe, it goes straight to the heart. Hit that bell button if you want to watch more VR content like this and leave a comment on what you think of this video today. Um, thank you for watching. I love you long time and ciao.